As you may already know, compared to the FR3X, the new FR4X is a much more customizable instrument. For example, as I demonstrated in a previous video in this YouTube channel, I can easily configure each register button within any of the factory sets to activate any of the instrument's orchestral tones that reside within its internal sampled sound library, which on a new instrument consists of 179 tones. I also showed in that video how those tones can be easily edited right on the instrument. In the video instruction that customers receive free from Roxy's when they purchase a new FR4X, I expand on that by showing how you can make orchestral configuration and editing work made within one set apply to any other of the instrument standard sets, thus making the selection of tones on the instrument both to your preference and consistent from set to set. I also describe in that instruction how you may want to keep the orchestral configuration of some sets unchanged from Roland's originals to comply with the particular genre of music that those sets represent. Of course, Roxy's will, if you wish, install for you the well-known Richard Knoll add-on user program banks, which will make the selection of orchestral tones for playing certain genres of music more convenient. Richard Knoll's work is very respected in the V accordion community. Roxy's can also install for you the standard orchestra and alpine sampled sound expansion modules. But in this video, I want to talk about the instrument's accordion sounds. When you first turn on an FR4X fresh from the factory, without making any selections of any kind, you get the following reed sound. <laughs> And of course, by pressing various register buttons, you get different reed combinations, as you would expect on an acoustic accordion. Although these accordion reed sounds seem perfectly acceptable to me, some people claim that they are in need of revoicing, which must be done using Roland's set editor software. Of course, music is a subjective art form. Give two accordionists some money and send them into an accordion store, and they will both come out holding a different model. And each of them will claim that theirs sounds better than the other. So, although I find the default read sounds of the FR4X perfectly acceptable, I can appreciate that some people might prefer a slightly different tonality. But here's my question. When purchasing a new instrument, is it really necessary, or even advisable, to perform extensive editing of the accordion sets that Roland built into the instrument at the factory? Consider that on an FR4X, you're not limited to the sound that comes up automatically when you first turn the instrument on. Indeed, the 4X contains 67 uniquely different accordion simulations, each with its own 14 separate reed combinations. That's 31 more than you get on the flagship FR8X, which is 36. These accordion simulations are called sets, and to pick a different one, all I need to do is press a button on the front grill. Now it will sound different. And now it will sound different again. So, it seems to me that before doing extensive editing on any of your instrument's factory installed accordion sets, it makes more sense to audition the ones that the instrument already has, don't you think? Another aspect of this is that Roland has designed the accordion read sounds of certain sets with purpose in mind. For example, the set that comes up by default on a new instrument contains certain read combinations that help demonstrate particular capabilities of the instrument. Sets in the range 002 through 019 are designed with certain genres in mind. Others, like 020 through 048, 
are designed to have standard reed combinations that you would typically find on full-size acoustic instruments, and so on. At Roxy's, we help you realize the organization of your instrument sets by providing 67 reed combination charts, one for each and every factory set on the instrument. In addition, the FR4X provides 33 extra accordion set locations for the express purpose of holding user-modified reed sounds without having to lose the reed sounds in any of Roland's original factory sets. Considering all these facts, you may decide that it is not even a good idea for you to revoice the reed sounds on your instrument's default startup set. And if all you really want to do is to have your favorite accordion reed sounds come up automatically when you first turn the instrument on, you can easily specify that in an appropriate internal parameter. Again, I want to emphasize that I am not trying to discourage you from optimizing reed sounds on your instrument. I'm simply trying to put into realistic perspective the need for doing so when purchasing a new instrument, before you even know what sounds the instrument already has. To help you realize that an FR4X from Roxy's does indeed contain accordion reed sounds of sufficient quality to satisfy your needs, I will play for you the beginning eight measures of the simple song, My Bonnie, 67 times, each time using the same reed combination from a different one of the FR4X's 67 factory sets. Even with those few notes, the complete audition demonstration is quite long, over 12 whole minutes. However, it will allow you to hear the complete range of accordion reed sounds that you get on an FR4X in at least one reed combination. To do the same for all reed combinations would require 2 hours 48 minutes. Sorry, that's too impractical. So that you don't waste your own time, listen on quality headphones, not computer speakers. In the audition demonstration that follows, I provide certain on-screen information as I navigate from set to set. I show you the instrument's LCD display as it would appear to you if you were performing the very same audition on the instrument yourself. I also provide the name of each factory set as it appears in Roland's official tone list document. I provide the read footage diagram, the read combination name, and finally the name of the internal sample read sounds used by Roland to construct each set. As I progress through the demonstration, you may notice some inconsistencies between the set name, read combination name, and the name of the internal sampled sound. As I suggested earlier, many of the sets are customized for different purposes. I explain this in the free video instruction that you receive when you purchase an instrument from Roxy's. Finally, you will see me use the FC300 companion foot pedal unit to switch sets. Of course, this is not necessary. I did it for convenience, to allow me to complete the entire audition without having to move my fingers from their position over the keys. You could easily audition all the sets yourself, pressing the appropriate button on the front grill. I hope this demonstration helps you in your decision to purchase a new FR4X.